Welcome back to this Let's Play of the original official campaign for Neverwinter Nights 2. Last time we uh, started into the back alley, I had to take a little detour or two trying to uh, get my, uh, I would say, my ultimate armor. It's not that ultimate, but it's pretty nice. I stopped to heal up. I already quite injured again. I'll just have uh, Eleni here cast Mass Lesser Vigor. Good 63 damage hit there from Kelgar. He's uh, certainly not a slouch when it comes to being buffed. Uh, he's maybe not all that useful on his own, but, well, that's what friends are for, right? Right. Anyway, follow me. onwards, Keep up. upwards. Sideways and twirling, always twirling, or something like that. There is some random loot to the sides here in the alley. If you forget it, you haven't missed anything important. Well, there's a city watch, more corrupt ones. And uh, we're just gonna have everybody. Let's get moving. Find some act. Just stay right here. Hold this spot. I like just have everybody hold position briefly so that they uh, will uh, have a uh, get hit by the haste. And the well, last time we were fighting, we, showed up. everybody kind of ran away from being hasted. You know, spotted some enemies. Over scary, there. I know. I guess I didn't quite do that right, and that I should have been able to haste build the summon monster as well. Um, hey, Kelgar, don't, don't deal with these arms, huh? Only 17 damage. 33. That's see what they're made of. Yeah, they're made of squishy parts. Is what they're made of. Some enemies over here. Get on up. Well, that was uh, not as hard as I. Well, it was about as hard as I thought it would be, which is not hard at all. And in this case, I'm just taking a hit with influence with Nishka in order to get a little more influence with Kelgar. It automatically brings you back here to the watch headquarters after you uh, have that little scene. Lieutenant, what have you to report? And, uh, we can, uh... It is as we suspected. Our informant was correct. I will need you to report to the meeting point at once and deal with those who were intended to receive the shipment. I suspect they will be much easier to handle without the weapons they were meant to pick up. But be cautious. I also want you to keep an eye out for anything there that might shed more light on their smuggling operations. We've shut down one smuggling route, but they must have others. Fortune to you, Lieutenant. And see to it these men are dealt with. I skipped the uh, walk across the market district. Uh, just, I figure this, people probably don't want to see that. Anyway, yes. uh, this area has this sort of awkward little quirk. I don't know if this is a feature yeah. or a bug, but yeah. uh, when you enter the area, all of your spell buffs fall off, but you don't actually, have, you don't have, not have considered to have rested, so you're just short your buffs. Um, and it's actually a little annoying to rest here, because you do have to kind of clear out a corner where there are no enemies sort of in range to keep you from, uh, keep you from resting. Looks 
like we're gonna want to rest immediately anyways, but we're in pretty bad shape, so I'm just gonna gain levels right now. Here's Kelgar. Kelgar's levels are really boring, actually. I mean, I just put two more points into craft armor, and, um, oh, I guess he gets a feat at this level. Um, I'll give him blind fight. Just get it out of the way. Yes. And Eleni, same thing as always, craft alchemy and heal. Just fun of it. I'm not actually using heal all that much. She already has scribe scroll. Uh, I'm gonna give her extend spell. Maybe not superpower, but you know, useful enough. And Nishka gets her rogue level. Um, give her plus one dex. I'm just gonna go by the recommended skills just for the fun of it. Yeah. Now, I don't think I. Oh, I actually can rest here. So I'll do that and be right back. As usual, I gain my own level off screen just because, well, I have the, have the build posted. We got picked up our level four spells, so let's have a little fun with those. Um, summoning skeletons. Animate Dead is a little bit different from the other summons. Most of the other summons last uh, seconds. Animate Dead lasts quote-unquote hours. Hours in this game means uh, it, I believe it's each hour in a spell duration is worth two minutes. But we're also going to cast another short duration spell here. Release Spell Mantle. The spell mantles are really kind of marginally useful in this game. Uh, just because they don't really make a whole lot of enemies cast spells anymore. But what they do is, and actually what they did in that case, I think I used it up already, is absorb spell casting. And uh, they don't last very long, so you kind of have to cast them in the middle of a fight. But it's sort of dueling against other mages. They are the most powerful listening? spells you have available, because they essentially say, your next spell will not work. Uh, unfortunately, because they're short duration and they're... Come on, uh, other me. problems. Keep They're not up. perfect. But, hey, you know, better than nothing. <laughs> For some reason, there's this huge pile of this dark steel much. chain shirts. I can't carry all and, this garbage. And, you know, it's sort of like, well, uh, that's too bad. I mean, uh, we can't carry them all. Well, except we can, because we have all these people with... Uh, Kelgar yes. actually has a 23 yeah. strength right now, so, yeah, we can carry them all. No problem. I, I think they expected... I don't know if that's just a bug, or if that's an oversight, or if they just accidentally allocated... I can't remember how many of them are there are there, but there are probably, you know, 10 or 12 of them. Just a little haste. Charge into the fight. I can, speaking of lightning bolt, which is what that guy was casting, I, mean, I suppose I could learn that by casting the wand at a scroll and inscribing it, but mm, I'm not too uh, I am listening. worried about it in the, the short term. Part. Yeah? Something you want? And there's all sorts of useful loot lying around here, so we'll just pick all that up. Now, um, our objective here is these documents, and I am specifically going to be as inefficient as possible by just clearing out all the uh, thugs that are available. I wouldn't want to pass up on loot for, you know, it's against the adventurer's creator or something like that. A whole bunch of uh, spells, and I think I actually know them all, except for protection from alignment. One of those really important level one spells that I know I'll be able to get eventually. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess I'll have to add that one to my spell book. Protection from alignment. The main thing that really makes it great is that it gives immunity to mind spells cast by the relevant alignment, and well. And that allows you to do silly things with area of effect spells. This is too much. I can't carry all this garbage. Heck, oh, a huge pile of short bows. Oh, we'll just move those. One of them is actually a duskwood short bow that's actually worth quite a bit of money. Um, it's essentially a mighty plus six short bow. So if you were going to have Kelgar use a bow, that's the bow you would have him use. And uh, we'll just. Moving all this junk over. 
right. Dark Steel does not make for very good armor. It gives acid resistance, which really is not all that useful as a an attribute. I am listening. But well, you know. Yeah. It's better than nothing. And it's worth money, worth more money when you sell it, and that's really all I care about for it. if the AI is. The pathfinding is smart enough to make it around the corner. I am impressed. But if the pathfinding would be smart enough to catch up, yes, thank you. Like, and then we'll cast peace and charge into the next fight over here. And big Kelgar is definitely Pulling his weight around. He's throwing his weight around. Give it up! You ain't gonna... All right. More garbage. Grab this barrel here. Very important booze. Just more random loot. There's a lot of just sort of filler in this area, unfortunately. But and most of the loot here is random. So, oh hey, the Stow Curse. It's another actually another level four spell I can learn. I, it's going to be one of those spells which I'll cast just for the sake of hey, I've got to cast this to complete the know it all challenge, not because I actually want to. The Remove Curse, however, is going to be one that I I like to, you know, when I, for the Know-It-All challenge, at least try and use the spell for what it's intended to be used for. But there are so few one. enemies that use anything that would be affected by Remove Curse that I'm just going to have to cast it for the second cast. I don't know. I'm still sort of worded, waiting for an opportunity to use Dispel Magic on something actually worth casting it on, but I may be getting a little desperate here. I suppose I could dispel the grease, but since dispel magic affects your party members as well, really, uh, I don't want to cast it unless I actually have something I want to cast it on. Ah, Nishu's kind of getting the heat on me. And a I need some healing. And one guy left. Time for a little Oh, he's named though. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna have uh, look who showed up. Melanie kind of fall back a little bit. Summon up some more. assistance. And heal herself. Now, to get attack, through this attack. guy, you actually just have to attack. bash through these crates. Unfortunately, your uh, allies are not really smart enough to do that, so you have to manually do that. Alright, there are a couple more guys in the back corner there, but I'm going to need to rest up before I go fight them. I guess we'll have to finish this next time. This episode's already kind of running long, so I'll see you then.